Hello, I'm Komala, and I'm here to invite you for a work that I'm offering in Twitteras. So this is a work for women, and uh, it's a work that is very close to my heart. Um, that's because uh, to work with women in the feminine is fundamental to create a space of friendliness, of warmth, welcoming, a space of uh, playfulness, easiness. And so, as I am helping to create that space, uh, I am also joining the energy. So I am also receiving. So I am also part of it. So that's why I love it so much. And um, so, in this work, I am inviting the Hindu goddesses, and these are archetypes of the feminine, which brings in different qualities of our feminine energy. And uh, at the same time, that they are the embodiment of the Divine Mother, so they are a very, very big resource for us to start the work. So they are creating the ground uh, from where then we all together start creating a temple and an energetic field of trust, of uh, support, uh, from where we all contribute with whatever it is that we have in the present moment as we are in this uh, space and we all can also receive them from the energy that we are creating. Uh, and the, the Hindu goddesses, they then uh, bring in inspiration uh, for different uh, qualities and energies that is important for us to explore and to work with. Uh, like energy of Lakshmi, where we work with, um, it's about love and generosity and openness and to give and receive. So uh, she's opening this space for us to explore that in ourselves. How do we experience that in our, in our lives, in our bodies? And then we also have uh, the goddess Durga, which is the goddess warrior. She is a very powerful goddess and at the same time very beautiful and very sensual. And she's the goddess that uh, brings us the question about uh, how am I uh, in my capacity to say no, to have clear boundaries and to really know and feel and know what I want, what is important for me, and what I need. And from where we then build on uh, the strength in our bellies, in our legs, to have the strength to say no to that which doesn't feel right. And in order to really open the heart. So the energy comes from below, from the earth, into the belly, into the heart. Uh, and goes to the solar plexus, which is the energy of Durga. So, um, and then we work with Kali, which is a, a very powerful goddess. She's the goddess of life and death, the goddess of our cycles, the represent our cycles, our cyclical nature, our emotional nature. And uh, when we work with Kali, we also, at the same time that we give space to our emotions and feelings, we also work with our capacity to center ourselves, to ground ourselves and find a place in us which is able to hold and to be with our emotions. So we don't need to repress them, but we have a ground in ourselves to support and to allow then our emotional richness to be alive. And, um, and we work with Parvati, is a very uh, beautiful goddess that embodies the masculine and the feminine. And uh, so we work with the masculine and the feminine energy in ourselves and how that the masculine nourishes the feminine, which can grow and then also bring it back to the masculine. And how this then manifests also in our lives, in our relationships, in our connection with men, in our connection with work, in our connection with uh, life, which is carrying, which everywhere when we look, there is those polarities, the masculine and the feminine. And how we, as we embody that, as we become present and aware of those energies inside, 
how that been support us to relate to the world in a more um, clear way. And finally, we all the way uh, through the work, we have a goddess, Lalita, which will be with us. Uh, she's the goddess of sexuality, sexuality, and uh, she's the goddess where, uh, where she's very much at home in her body, in her life, in her sexual energy. So she, we invite her in order for us to really uh, find ways to open our breath, our body, our energy for our pleasure, our capacity to feel, to sense, and to enjoy ourselves in our sensual and sexual energy. And uh, we have also Sarasvati. Sarasvati is the goddess of uh, music, of songs, of uh, inspiration. And uh, all the way she is present because uh, when I'm working, I love playing with songs and sounds and vibration and creative energies in place. So she's going to be with us. And uh, the most important in the work is that we, every woman that is coming together in the circle, she is embodying also the goddess. She is uh, bringing something. She's offering herself. She's offering her gifts. And together we create an alchemy and uh, where, from where we can support ourselves, we can support each other, and we can really create the space that we need in order for us to really try the flower in our feminine essence. So I really look forward to see you, to meet you, and to create this space with you. See you then there.